so what's going on guys so in this video uh most of you have asked me some of uh, the things you see in my interface of my after effect and some of these are extensions or script and in this video i'm going to show you a few of them and how they actually helped me speed up uh, in my workflow so without wasting your time guys uh, let's get into the video so number one on our list is uh a colors by good boy ninja I know most of you have extensions to create solid like uh, workflow uh, you can create solid but uh, what you can do now is uh, with this if you go to colors here you can change the color uh, just a one click and it's going to change the color for you very easy and this is this actually speed ups uh, time and actually helps so all you can do is just select the color or you go to the color you want just click on it and it's going to change the color you can click here and uh, you can also click this option here at the top here to give you a random uh, colors so that you can just go through and see the color you desire and you just click on it it's going to change it for you and this is not uh, only applied to solid you can also apply it to your test so let me create a test here and let me increase the font size and so we have let me change uh, like uh, black so let me turn it to four and so you have this color here right now and you can also go here and just change the color and that's okay but with this uh, all you have to do is just select the layer or the test layer and just click on it and it's going to change the color for you and this is very easy and it's, it's very fast and this uh, really helps uh, so anything you want to do with concern colors is going to change the color so for example let me create uh, let me create an of the stroke and let me create a fill so if i have a fill like this just like the solid all you can do is uh going here to change the color you can just click on this and it's going to change the color for you so i recommend you to get this script it's called colors by good boy ninja a second script on our list is label uh, some of you will say okay if i want to change the color of my uh, layer here you just click and you can change it very easy but i uh, actually uh having a script like this is actually uh, a time saver so just click on it and click and it's going to change uh, the color so uh, very uh, fast for you so actually this is uh, an extension i really love and actually it saves me uh, it saves me time so if you don't have this too it's fine you can just click on the color option here and just change it and that's fine i know most of you that's how you guys do it so the next uh, script we have on our list uh, is called uh, advanced max uh, editor so we we'll have it here this just like the mask we have in after effect so in case i take my uh, let me take my pen too and just mix some mask like this so if you click down uh, this arrow you have our max here you can go to inverted or you can even go to subtract and we can go to feather here you can feather your max and all those stuffs here so and all the properties of the max and you can expand uh, the mass expansion so all this here we have all of them here for you so all the thing you need to do is after creating your mask just go to the tool here and it's going to detect the mask you created so i just created only one so in case i add another one to it like this and if i go back it's going to indicate uh, the other marks you can go to the option here and just go to also subtract or any ways you desire so only the only thing you need to do is just create your mask and go to your tool here you can position the max you can position the max here you can position the y value so if you go so you can see the max here and we have uh, properties like uh, opacity too also you can reduce the opacity and you can feather it and uh, mass expansion you can go to the mood here and you can change you can also change the color of of the label so this is yellow i can go for red and 
with this it's this color you can also change it to like green and it's going to have so all the properties you find here in your mask everything is found here and one thing about this is you can always save your mask so the mask you create here let me delete uh, this let me delete the red one and let's leave the blue one here so all you can do is just save the mask here so you can see you have this mask you can save it and you can put it anywhere you like and you can delete it and in case you want the max back you just go to load and you just select the mask you saved and you have the mask here so this property is actually a really good in case you make different marks you can always save it and later use it in your edit you can always save your marks and use it anytime you want so actually this is actually a great tool and this is called the max editor so you guys can try this the last extension is uh the red giant universe dashboard so anytime you have your red giant plugin installed always go to your windows extensions and look for the red giant uh universe dashboard actually this is a great tool to uh, add a whole lot of effects to your edit and uh, for example if i go to blair if i just go to apply we have tons of presets here you can choose one of them and apply it you have keyframes here you can actually use to animate your blurriness and you just have to just one click you just go look for any so you have the bouquet here you can also apply this so you can go for the triangle and you can also decrease the blurriness or the blur amount so and those who don't have the bouquet plugin and you, this uh, universe bouquet and you can actually use it to create nice blurry or nice effects in your edit i love one tool in the red giant uh, universe dashboard is the luster so what the luster does is let's create a test so we have our test here and all we need to do is just apply luster to this and what this does is and uh, let's add some gushing blur here so all what it does it is add some glossiness some uh, uh bevels to your test and all you can do is just uh, go to your your test and now you have a tons of settings here so you, you can just go to gradient if you want the gradient like this color you can always change the color you can go to original and the original is the color uh, the test was having that's the white and with this you can just go and change the color here and we have this so that's for the original you can go to gradient or solid color or you can always go to you, your gradients and this is how it is so all you can do now is you can just go to your bevels you can increase the bevel size so or you can go to uh glossiness and just bring it down so glossiness you can see uh having something like a glass feel and you cannot apply you can you can apply this on the shape layer on anything you want so you can go to your choose presets and you have tons of them here so all of them have their settings everything here and you can just click and apply them to your test you can also add them to your shape layer so in case i create something like this of the fill and let's add the stroke and let's animate the stroke with our add trim parts and now let's go to the end and just bring it like this move some few frames and set it back to 100 so we have an animation like this and let's uh, add another keyframe from the start and go to the end and also let's set it to 100 So at the end you have an animation like this so now what you can do is just 
add luster to this and it's going to actually uh, make your line animation looks just like this so you can see how it looks so you just go and just add a color to this so you can go add your color uh, just to make it look nice so you have something like this nice you can just always go and change the color if you want you can also dive into the settings and change the color here uh, you can go to some of the presets and just apply this uh, you see we have a drop shadow you can add drop shadow and opacity you can increase it and you can also add a deep glow to this so uh last is not the only effect you have in the red giant uh, dashboard uh, there's tons of them but these are some of the effects i normally use so you can just go into your dashboard if you don't have it so you just go to your windows you go to extensions and you look for the red giant universe dashboard so this is the red giant uh, universe dashboard it's actually a, a nice uh, extension uh, you have here and you have tons of effects you can actually use so if you don't have it you can always go dive into your effects and presets and look for your red giant so if you go to red giant universe or you look for universe red giant so we have the red giant uh, options here and you can just dive into them and look for uh, your settings or your presets you can also search or you just use the dashboard actually uh, this is a great uh, extension you guys really need to dive into so most of them here you can just go along and just go to them and just uh, practice with some of them and look through and see the one you actually love to add to your text or your edit or your effect or anything that you want to add to you can do that and just make your edits uh, to the next level so guys actually these are some of the few uh, script and extensions i normally use there are a lot more so i'll be making videos on them so guys thanks for watching if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe if you are old here yeah, you know what to do give me a comment also check my pay hip i have free stuff over there for you guys and i'll be updating my pay hip with some new uh, edits and new effects so guys thanks for watching make sure you give me a comment you like this video and i'm going to see you in my next video peace